Welcome to the market rundown. This is Matt Bennett, grain marketing consultant with Channel. And I'm just going to kind of go over the May 12th USDA supply and demand report. And, uh, you yeah, know, I've got three takeaways. First of all, USDA drops uh, old crop carry out on corn. Uh, raises uh, new crop carry out on corn. And then as far as soybeans were concerned, not a whole lot of changes. So, you know, first of all, let's talk a little bit about this old crop uh, situation. We all know that our exports have been good. Inspections have been good. We talked about this quite a bit in the newsletter. Uh, these are things that uh, I guess we kind of expected uh, moving forward, but the USDA has been a little bit uh, laggard in making some adjustments uh, whenever it comes to raising exports and dropping that carryout. So we actually dropped, you know, your, your carryout down to, uh, you know, 1.25 area, uh, which is something that I uh, was kind of... Uh, expecting would happen, uh, but didn't know when it would happen. And so we saw it here in the May report. It's important because this report actually is the first chance that we get to look at the new crop situation as far as the balance sheet is concerned. So uh, moving into that new crop situation, what, what we understand is that, you know, where we start out on new crop is where we ended on old crop. And so if it's 1.25 for old crop uh, carry out, uh, the new crop uh, beginning stocks is at 1.25, which is uh, quite a bit lower than what we originally thought. So uh, what did the USDA do? Uh, you know, why did they get up to a 1.5 uh, billion bushel carry out as far as new crop was concerned? Well, they dropped exports. And so, uh, you know, the outlook form back in February uh, suggested that exports would be, you know, in that 2.6 uh, billion bushel range. Uh, they definitely had very uh, strong demand projections here for uh, the upcoming marketing year, uh, essentially the crop that we're putting in the ground right now. And, and so basically what happened here is that the USDA said, yes, demand's been pretty good, uh, but we are going to uh, assume that high prices are going to curb demand somewhat. And that's a fair assumption. And I think that, uh, you know, uh, essentially starting out with a 1.5 billion bushel carry out whenever we're producing 15 billion bushels, you know, that's a pretty small number. And so I wouldn't say it was a bearish report, uh, but certainly wasn't uh, particularly bullish whenever you look at that new crop situation. For soybeans, I mean, essentially what you've got is what the USDA came out with. So, so uh, I mean, what, what everyone expected, a 120 million bushel uh, carry out as far as old crop was concerned and 140 carry out for new crop. Those were basically right in line with projections, no big adjustments, no big changes. Uh, USDA does not want to go below 120 million bushels as far as old crop stocks are concerned. I understand that, but uh, we are probably a little bit tighter than that. Whenever we look at what has gone on with cash bean uh, basis, whenever we look at the bull spreading action with uh, July gaining on November, uh, all these things would suggest to me that we're going to run extremely tight on soybeans, uh, probably quite a bit tighter than the 120. So again, you know, my three takeaways here uh, were essentially that old crop corn stocks uh, were lowered uh, as we thought they might be. New crop corn stocks actually were raised, uh, which is not something I necessarily expected. And then the bean uh, report wasn't anything to get uh, too terribly excited about. So thanks again for tuning in to the market rundown. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section below or uh, make sure you sign up for the marketing newsletter where I could and will be addressing some of those comments and questions. Uh, it's at channel.com and it would be under the marketing tab is the best place to sign up for that. So thanks once again.